Hi, I'm Tim Zacharias with your Cougar USA Tip of the Week. This week we will show you the control sequence for a three float system on the Cougar Systems Elite Sump Pump Control Panel. A three float system is good for deeper basins where a long pumping range for the lead pump is required. We normally use float switches for water level indication in the basin, but for this demonstration we will simulate the floats with these switches on the door. The sump pump operators, as well as the lead pump selection, are all in auto. The system is set for three floats in the settings. The bottom or first float is the lead pump off, the second float is the lead pump on, and the third float is the lag pump on and off as well as triggering the high level alarm. As the water level rises in the basin, the bottom or first float switch turns on, but the lead pump will not turn on until the second float switch turns on. The lead pump will stay on until both the second and the first float switches have turned off, so the distance between the two floats in the basin is the pumping range. Each pump down cycle, the system will alternate the lead pump. If the lead pump cannot keep up with the demand and the level continues to rise, the third float turns the lag pump on as well as triggering the high level alarm. The high level alarm bypasses the PLC using relays to call both pumps to run so it will work even if the PLC has failed. The lag pump and the high level alarm will stay on until the water level goes down and the third float switch turns off. The lead pump will stay on until the basin water level is low enough for the second and first float switches to turn off. The Cougar System's Elite Sump Panel can be set up for a 2, 3, or 4 float system. Please watch our other Tip of the Week videos to see how to change the number of floats used in the system and their sequence of operations.